So quite recently, Minecraft uh, released two or maybe two and a half really cool things. One on YouTube and one on Twitter. Shout out to you, Devil Snub, for mentioning this on my Discord server, or else I wouldn't have found it. One of these is the Nether update in, one, in Minecraft 1.15. So, Minecraft 1.15 has confirmed to be a Nether update, and on Twitter right here, the Minecraft official account has posted two things. Uh, the next part of Minecraft to be updated is the Nether. This scary place is about to become a lot more engaging. Explore brand new biomes like Soul Sand Valley and the Nether Warp Forest, new mobs, uh, trading, well, sort of, and more. Trading, well, sort of. Uh, right off the bat, I noticed that Nether Warp Forest implies that you no longer need to go to, uh, what's it called, uh, nether fortresses to get nether wart, which is really useful for early game if you're playing hardcore, however, I'm, unless I'm stupid, and nether wart, no, it looks like nether wart, well, I guess we can just click the video and see how it goes, so I'm gonna show you guys both videos, and then I'll tell you my opinion, so first of all, this one is the nether one, let's just do it, sorry for the quality. Okay, so right off the bat, this is so cool. And what can we dissect just by looking? So let me get to a part where I know I know I have some observations. Okay, so as we walk, oops, as we're walking through this forest, um, you can see a few things. So number one, it seems nether wart blocks are growing on these trees. I don't know if that can actually be crafted. I'm maybe do I'm maybe dumb and it can't be, but if it is, that's a game changer. Uh, on the ground, we see something that looks kind of like nether dirt. It's definitely not netherrack, unless it's been retextured extremely, like, a lot. Um, oops, I did not mean to do that. I meant to get rid of that thing. Whatever. So, we can see the little nether dirt, and on top of it, little nether grass. I have no idea what that's going to be used for. Maybe there'll be a way to get nether wart. I don't know. And you also see the little mushrooms on the ground. The blue mushroom and the orange mushroom. I'm sorry the quality is so bad. It's Twitter and my recording and my editor all looped in together. And of course, we have the very distinct nether tree bark, which has a really cool lava texture, and I wonder what it'll be used for. Does it work like regular wood? I don't know. And what are the mushrooms for? Can you make stew? I don't know. So far, looking really cool. Oh, the quality's so much better. Okay, now you can see the mushrooms more clearly and everything more clearly. Okay, so I I do believe this might just be glowstone, although all the other textures are default. I don't even know if that's the default texture of glowstone, which is quite strange. This reminds me of the ether, the ether update, the ether mod. Uh, it looks like something resembling cyan concrete powder, although that's probably not it. But there's this very weird leaf, so new leaves again for this part of the nether. Uh, I don't know what part I would expect this to be. Uh, they mentioned uh, Nether Wart Forest, Soul Sand Valley. We saw Nether Wart Forest. This is probably not Soul Sand Valley. Uh, what can we see from this? Well, we see the weird glowstone, which I don't know if that's glowstone. That might be a completely different block, assuming this is the default resource pack. Uh, there's another new type of wood, which is really interesting. And not, not, not that much else from this. Although it looks like the ground is some sort of grass that grows on netherrack. So I guess it just like grass is biome dependent for its certain colors, certain biomes will have different impacts on the netherrack, which is the basic dirt of the nether. So that's pretty cool. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that? Okay, something was falling. I don't know what it was, but that was definitely a particle or something. And I guess here's a more in-depth look. It looks like the same grass, so I guess this is just standard nether grass. Although I hope it has a function. And there's much, there's an abundance of these mushrooms. And again, it's like a little awesome retextured log. I don't think that's glowstone. I literally don't think that's glowstone. That might have yet. That, that's probably an entirely different thing. That's super cool. Yeah, it's definitely not sign concrete powder. 
Okay, so this is what I'm assuming is Soul Sand Valley, and it looks like a humongous ravine or cavern of Soul Sand, but that is definitely not Soul Sand. It looks like manure, uh, and there's blue fire, so I'm really excited to see what that will do and what this really interesting Soul Sand is. Uh, okay. And now you can also see some fossils and some st stalactites and stalagmites. Which is always really nice because you can see them coming from the ground right there. My mouse is hidden, but you can see them. They're right in front of you on the right side of your screen. But uh, yeah, bone blocks, which is really cool. Fossils in the nether, as well as these really cool. I don't know what those are made of. Those might be made of the manure blocks, but I really have no idea. That's a different block. That's definitely a different block. I wonder what that's made of. That looks very cool. Okay, so that concludes the first video. Uh, the second video is similar, it's also nether themed, but it adds the wild boars, which looks really interesting, and this is maybe the trading that they're talking about. So these are the hostile boars in the nether. Uh, let's just play the video, please. This looks like the nether wart forest, and this is still, again, that weird glowstone-like block at the top of the trees. I wonder what that is going to be. Right away, very cool texture work. I'll, I'll watch the video, sorry. Okay, so right away we notice a lot of things, and I kind of don't want to forget anything. Uh, at the very end, uh, you'll skip to the end, we see that when they killed them, this Ravenger-like boar does drop what seems to be raw beef, which is also a really, this could be a really good farming food source, like a better auto cow farm. Uh, but the more interesting thing here, I think, is these pigmen. Because these are not, def they're definitely not zombie pigmen. Uh, actually... You know, those could be retextured zombie pigmen, but I'm going to call them boarmen. For the time being, boarmen seem a bit more uh, offensive. They attack with their skeletons. I don't know if this is are the players doing or if they just naturally attack with their skeletons. But you can see one in right there, uh, in the, the very top right boarmen, is using a crossbow. So that's very interesting. And they seem to be destroying. And this is a really cool feature right here. Uh, when we open chests it, as to raid, like we're raiding their fortress, these guys will probably be the new fortress guardians, which doesn't make sense if actually they are. So this is the interesting part. So clearly this guy is attacking us for opening a chest, so he's like the protector. And what confuses me is that if they, if these guys do protect the nether fortress, then why don't they like live happily with wither skeletons? That's what bothers me. But this could all be like an entirely different thing, an entirely different structure. And they seem that they do hunt these boar things naturally. So boar men hunt boars, and they are very fast, as you can see. That guy was very fast. Okay, so overall, very cool trailer. I am very excited to see what comes out with this. And the boar men, it seems like you can trade with them. And as we saw, they are not directly hostile as well, because he only attacked us once we opened the chest. So you got to be careful, but it's kind of like pigmen. Cool. So, what else is new? Well, today, Minecraft posted, the official Minecraft YouTube channel, posted this. The Minecraft Dungeons Opening Cinematic.
Oh, that looks so epic. Okay, so there isn't, there is not that much you can dissect from this trailer, unless I'm dumb, because, uh, this isn't gameplay, this is simply a cinematic. However, if the graphics and animation are actually like this cinematic, which I do, I do doubt it would be like this, and it's gonna be so fun to play. Uh, you can actually sign up for beta playing, but you have to be 18 years of older, and I am not older than 18. Or 18. And, uh, so that's why I can't really give you guys too much about Minecraft Dungeons. However, when the game does come out to the public, you can be sure that I'm gonna play it, or buy it, or whatever. So, yeah, Minecraft Dungeons looks awesome, and the Nether update looks awesome as well. However, that is all I have for today's video. I'm sorry, I just kind of made it fast because I don't usually upload Saturdays. But thanks so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, then be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.